Aloha friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I do mostly subscription box unboxings but occasionally a makeup, skincare, or empties video. Today we are doing an unboxing. <laughs> Who would have thought? But this isn't my beauty unboxing. This is Universal Yums and I am excited about this box. It is Thailand. We've already dug into some of the snacks because my husband likes to kind of do them at his own pace and that sort of thing. So there might be a couple of things that I can't visually show you because they're gone. But most of it is um, in here. But it always comes with a little pamphlet that tells you some information about the country and the snacks. And then like a voting card where you can vote for the best, the worst, the weirdest, um, a future box, all that fun stuff. So let's get into the box. The first thing, mm, I don't think I'm going to try these on camera. They are devil chips. Hold on, let's see if I can find a little insert for the devil chips. Okay, Tasto Devil Thai Chili Pepper Potato Chips. Now, these, even in the description, say that they're very spicy. They clock in at about 15 times hotter than jalapenos. They are devil chips. I, I warned my husband not to try it, but he's stubborn, and he tried it anyways, and <laughs> almost died. But they're pretty spicy. I'll show you what one looks like. And they do have like the chili pepper flakes in the bag too. They're spicy y'all. It's a good texture, but it's just for me not a pleasant experience because they are so spicy. The next thing is gone. It is a Z roll farm, C roll farm fried shrimp with salad cream flavor. Um, it was a long stick. Here's a picture of it wrapped in this like um, seaweed wrap, I think see what it says in the pamphlet. It is, where is it? I am not seeing it on the little pamphlet here, but anyhow, it tasted me kind of like sushi. I liked it. I, When I took it out of the bag, it kind of broke in half. And I took one bite, and it was crunchy. It kind of tastes like sushi to me. Um, and then my daughter took the other half of the part that broke off, and she ate the whole thing. And she was like, it's weird, but she still ate it. And then my husband ate the other half, and he seemed to like it too. That's why it's gone. We like sushi. So there's that. Then there are these Glindy Coconut Chips Sea Salt and Caramel. And I'll show you what these look like. Let's take a little bite. Here's, oh, here's one. Just looks like a little coconut. You can hear the crunch. I do taste the sea salt and caramel. It's a nice sweet and salty flavor. I noticed that's a, a smaller theme running through the box. Sweet and salty. And for these, it says, is your mouth on fire? Quick chomp into these crispy salted caramel coconut chips for some sweet relief. Hmm. Okay, that being said, I'm going to take like the teeniest fire chip in here, double chip, and see if it works. And when you first bite into it, it's not really that spicy, but then the after, the after is spicy. It helps marginally. If I had a bigger chip, I don't know if it works so well, I might have to eat a few more. I do enjoy these. They have a nice flavor, a really nice crunch, so I like that. The next thing, this is probably one of my husband's favorite thing in the box, and I really enjoyed them too, which I don't usually like wafers, so that says a lot. It is the Chalky Shibuya Honey Toasted Flavor Cream, and just a little wafer. Looks like this. There's several of them in here. <coughs> Sorry, that spice is tingling in the back of my throat. But, yes, so it's honey flavored cream, and it's really nice. Has a nice crunch. The sweetness of the honey really comes through. And it's not like a stale flavor like some wafers. It's a really nice flavor, really nice crunch. I really like those. My husband did too. Another thing both my husband and I really enjoyed in this bag 
these are i think garlic and honey crisps it's in a different language that i do not speak this says tosto sweet and spicy sweet garlic wheat crisps and these are really good they look like well that's two they look like this and they are sweet and salty as well and they have a nice crunch they have a very interesting flavor something that i don't really think i've ever had before which we enjoy in these subscription boxes that's why we get them to try things we haven't tried before it's got the sweetness of the gar or the sweetness of the honey some garlic it's nice i like those a lot i told my husband at least to leave me some because he was like annihilating those these my daughter really enjoyed she really likes chips but she likes like the um salty chips it says salt and sour <clears throat> this is tosto salt and sour salty lemon potato chips and she really liked these i don't know if my husband there weren't very many in this bag to begin with there's just like crumbs now my daughter ate a few and then my husband ate a few but this is what the chip looks like kind of reminds me of like a lay's potato chip but it's got that really salty lemon flavor kind of reminds me a little bit of salt and vinegar chips but they're good the next thing was the yum bag um is all the candy gone oh there's not any left at all in here so i'll show you the wrappers i guess <laughs> because all the actual candy itself oh there's one corn one left also, I'll show you the wrappers of the other one. I can't show you the physical candies. Um, this is a corn flavored candy. It looks like this. And yes, corn. Not candy corn, but like a corn flavored candy. And I'm not going to try it on camera because it is hard. It is chewy. It does take a while to get through. It doesn't really have a scent, but it tastes like corn. Literally corn. There's not really a sweetness to it. It just tastes like corn. <laughs> so if you like corn and you like uh, really chewy candies you might like that it's hard at first and then you chew it just takes a while the next thing was this um candy it is a banana candy where's that one at? um orchard banana chews steamed banana chews so it tastes like banana it's not super super sweet but it's like a purple color and you chew it and it kind of reminds me a little bit of a Lara bar. If you've had one of those, it's like kind of sticky, um, sticky, chewy, tastes like a steamed banana. It kind of reminds me of if Lara bar, I don't know if they do or not, had like a banana nut bread kind of can uh, bar. It That's probably what it would taste like to me at least. My husband wasn't a huge fan of those, but I enjoyed them and my daughter enjoyed them. And then the last candy was a pineapple candy. I really wish I could show it to you because it was super cute. It's Heartbeat Pineapple, pineapple hard candy with the salt center. Um, it came in, I know that's another corn flavor thing. Where's the banana, uh, pineapple one, right here. This is the pineapple package. Um, and it tastes like pineapple, it's sweet. When you get to the center, it is salty. Uh, they really like the sweet and salty combinations, I guess, in Thailand. But it was shaped like a heart and it was so cute. So my daughter enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I think my husband did. <laughs> he seemed to. But yeah, I enjoyed that. <clears throat> the next thing is this Heartbeat Lime Gummy. Salty Lime Gummies. So these taste like lime. They got like a salty, sugary coating on the outside. Here's what one looks like. That reminds me of something. I know it does. I can't think of what it is exactly right now. This tastes like something I've had before. It's lime. It's salty. It's a little sweet. It's really enjoyable. It kind of tastes. Oh, my daughter said this. Kind of tastes like lemonade. So, or limeade, I guess the case might be. But those are pretty nice. I like those too. The next thing in here is this 
um, banana something or other southern banana or uh, suthera banana coconut roll so it's just a banana coconut roll they come individually wrapped and it's hollow and that's what it looks like there very crunchy has a nice banana flavor it kind of tastes the coconut but to me it tastes more like banana than coconut it's crunchy it's nice kind of tastes a little bit like the banana candy but it's of course crunchy instead of chewy and then the last thing in here I actually have not tried yet so I guess I'll try it on camera it's May Napa sticky rice with coconut cream and mango and it says to um, 15 second microwave for a better taste, but I don't have a microwave out here, so I am just going to try a little bit of it. So this is what it looks like. It's like in a bar form, kind of. There's a little piece of it. It's not bad. I can't really taste the mango much. I can definitely taste the coconut. I think I'm going to save the rest of this for my daughter because she really likes rice. So that is everything in the box. I think my favorite item are probably the garlic and honey chips. I just really enjoy the sweet and salty kind of thing. The coconut chips are really good too. The salt and sour chips were my favorite or my daughter's favorite. She hasn't tried the rice yet, so that might be her favorite. But of the one she's tried, she does like the chips. The pineapple candy was good. The banana chew was nice. My husband didn't really like that one. I liked it. The corn candy is weird. <laughs> the Thai coconut roll, it's nice. We all really like these wafers. They're nice, sweet, honey flavor. No one liked these chips because we're just not spice fans. But if you like something with some heat in it you'll probably really enjoy these <clears throat> we all like this my daughter said it was weird but she ate almost half of it by herself and it was literally this long so that tells you something she enjoyed that and then the lime gummy they taste like like limeade it's it's really nice i like those so this was a pretty good box um unless snack crate really delivers this month we might just be keeping the universal yums we did like the canada box from snack crate but we also like the uk box from universal yums so it's really between those two i know i said i canceled my munch pack but i didn't so i'll get another one this month but i'll probably end up canceling that one just because when i look at all of the ones we've had so far munch pack it seems like it has the most kind of generic stuff in there that you could probably get here but I still like it, so I decided to keep it one more month, and then it'll probably be a race between Snack Crate and Universal Yums, depending on what our Snack Crate looks like this month. So if you have a preference of a Snack Crate, um, or Crate of Snacks, <laughs> feel free to leave that in the comments down below. But if you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. It helps me gauge what kind of content you guys like. And then if you've watched a few of my other videos, <clears throat> or you just really like this one, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And then leave a comment down below. What did you think of this Thailand Universal Yums box? Do you get any snack, sc la 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 la. snack subscriptions? If you do, what do you get? And what do you like? What do you not like? But whether you like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe, comment or don't comment. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.